the those two rocks there uh, were sent to me with some other samples of, of uh, claverite and uh, I don't know if that's claverite or not but the thing is that it doesn't look much like anything so as you can see there so uh, I'll show you the ore and just I'll show you the crushed part of it in just a couple of seconds so all right this is the five pounds of claverite or the whatever you want to call it or that we that we got so you can see it and I'm getting ready to put the H2O2 in it so I'll be right back okay we're we are now getting ready to put the H2O2 inside it so as you can uh, so as we can watch the reaction of it so here we go all right Okay, we've now brought our spoon out here so that we can stir this up. Make sure that it's all good and mixed up. We make sure that uh, it's all, the solution is covering it all. So, that everything in it's wet. You can see that's what it comes out. So Should be bubbling, so uh, we're going to uh, kind of let this sit because when we get this thing all done, it'll be done in about an hour, and uh, we'll come out and flip it on every now and then so you can see what's going on, and then when we get it into the chloride, we will drain it off, pull the sponge out of it, and get it into some kind of a button so we can determine what the ounces per ton will actually be. All right, thank you. All right, I hope you can see this. It's bubbling in there, and uh, I think you can, uh, I hope you can see it. Uh, but we're just about there. Uh, we've still got about another half hour to go on this, and then we'll be putting the HCL in it. All right, it's about 45 minutes into it, and you can see the hydrogen coming off of the, 
the, the vapors or the gas is high hydrogen. So, and you should be able to see it bubbling pretty good in there. So we got about 15 more minutes to go and then we can drop the HCl in it and watch that take place. As you can, as you can see, the hydrogen gases are really coming off of this. So um, it's still working and um, we're about ready here in about another 10 minutes to put the HCl in. So just wanted you to see what this five pounds is doing right now and uh, hasn't changed and it is uh, really kind of volatile to a certain degree so but you do see the hydrogen gases co coming off okay we're at that point now to where we can go ahead and pour the hydrochloric acid inside so you can see how that is going to Okay, I've got to go get a container to put that in. So. Okay, and went back down. So that is the hydrochloric acid inside there. Now we'll let it sit. Okay, we're going to stir this up. Make sure it's good and mixed. As you can see, there's some really fine gold in inside of this. I can see it in this solution, so there is gold there so now we gotta let it sit and let it drain off alright I hope you can see the color of that that's the color that this is supposed to be after everything is all taken this is all taken out so here before too much longer we're going to be draining this off and putting it into some in another container to go ahead and see what kind of a sponge we get off of this well as you guys can see we are filtering it off we are you can see the color how dark it is and that's how dark it is and uh, we're going to be dropping zinc strips in it here and we put, we're going to put it in another container because it will just overflow these and uh, I was going to show you what it goes to before when it gets all the way filtered through we'll show you what the, what the color turns to and it's going to be a gray color so alright 
Okay, this is it after the liquid has drawn off and you can see that it's kind of a, a, a spongy looking, it's kind of a, a gray looking thing here and it's, the filters are turned yellow. So I'm getting ready to put this in another container and drop the sponges. So be right back with you. All right, we've got everything draining now on the claverite. So this is what's coming out uh, as it's going through our filters that'll leave us a sponge. We'll show you the picture of the sponge as soon as we get it. Okay, bye. Well, as you can see, we're getting down to the sponge. Uh, we can show that to you. You can see it right, right there. So we are getting down to where, where the sponge is. Um, just uh, another 20 minutes and it will be sponge. So then we'll show that to you. Thanks. All right, out of that five pounds of ore, we got a 41.30 gram sponge. So we're going to let it dry overnight and then we're going to pour it into a button tomorrow. So. And so we got 41.30 sponge. Thank you. All right, this is the sponge from yesterday. And as you can see, it's 23.87 grams dried. So <clears throat> we're getting ready to put this into the furnace so we can see what kind of a button we're going to be getting out of this. So um, this is what we're going to be doing. So uh, hang tight. Okay, we have just put it inside of the furnace and we're going to uh, show you that there it is there is the sponge inside there so we're now going to turn turn it on so there you can see it and you know that it's inside side there so we're going to close it up Turn it, turn it on. It's 57 degrees. So, that's what we're doing. So, all right, we'll be back in a little bit. So, as you can see it. All right, as you can see, the temperature is still climbing. It's at 1195. So and it's still climbing up. Now it's 1200. So uh, we're, we're getting there. So we're going to see what size a button comes out of this. All right. Okay, there it is at over 1800 degrees. And just a few more minutes and we'll be able to uh, take it out and pour it. So, and see what kind of a uh, button that we get. Alright. Okay, that's the, the button out of the furnace. So we're getting ready to flip it over and uh, see what we got. Okay, well that looks like the button, so we're going to get us a container and uh, pour some distilled water in it so that we can see what we got. And uh, going to pick it up.
We'll let it sit in there for a few minutes, and then we will take it out. So, uh, just kind of hold your horses there. We're going to put it on this so that you'll be able to see it. See the whole thing. So, all right. So. see what we got here. This may be the button. This may be the whole button right right there. So let me uh, go clean this up and we will see if that is the button. Alright? So I'll be right back. All right, guys, this is the button. It's 2.7, I mean 2.57 grams. That's exactly what it is, and we will get you a close-up of the uh, button it's itself so you can see it. That's it. 2.57 grams. There it is again. All right, that is the button. Thanks, bye. All right, this is what we got out of six, out of five pounds of uh, Claverite ore. So, you can see it's definitely a gold button. We'll even, that's what it is, it is. Pretty nice looking. All right. Bye.